This is the 360 of the room. I'm gonna place the recorder here. And this is my son, student Seneca ID. My name is J E N N Y L U. I'm going to sanitize my hands. Now I'm going to be inspecting the patient's nose. 
because I inspect the patient's nose, I see it's symmetrical and midline, and there's no nosal discharge. Now I'm going to inspect the patient's mouth starting with the lips. Okay. As I inspect the patient's mouth, I see that it is hydrated, there's no lesions, and it's symmetrical. Now I will be testing cranial nerve number 9, which is a glossopharyngeal, and cranial nerve number 10, which is the vagus nerve. Okay. Here. Can you open your mouth, please? I'm going to look at it down and say, ah. Ah. Okay. The patient's soft palate and uvular rise as the patient says, ah. Therefore, cranial nerve number 9 and 10 are intact. Now I'm going to be testing cranial nerve number 12, which is the hypoglossal nerve. Okay. So I'm just going to have you open your mouth. Okay. Patient's tongue is midline. Can you move from side to side? Patient can move tongue from side to side. And can you say light tight dynamite? Light tight dynamite. Okay. And there's no tremors when patient says light tight dynamite. Therefore, cranial nerve number 12 is intact. Now I'm going to be inspecting and palpating the neck. Okay. As I inspect the neck, I can see that the patient's skin color is appropriate to the patient's genetic background. Uh, there's no scars, no lesions, and it's symmetrical. Now I'm going to palpate it. There seems to me no enlargement of thyroid, no tenderness, and the temperature is warm to touch. Okay, now I'm going to be uh, palpating the carotid arteries. Okay, rhythm is regular and strength is plus two. Now on the other side, rhythm is regular and strength is plus two. Upon palpating the carotid arteries, uh, the, pulse are, the pulses are equal bilateral. Okay, now I'm going to be testing cranial nerve number 11, which is the spinal nerve. Okay, so I'm just going to have some pleasant medicine in your face and rotate to the left, okay? Okay, go ahead. Okay, now on the other side, go ahead. Now I'm going to put some resistance on your shoulders and just shrug, okay? Go ahead. Do you feel any pain when doing those? No. Okay, patient states no pain. Therefore, cranial nerve number 11 is intact. Now I'm going to be inspecting the patient's upper extremities. As I inspect the patient's upper extremities, I can see that there is no, no scars, no lesions, it's symmetrical, hair is evenly distributed, and skin color is appropriate to the genetic background. Okay. Just on both sides. Now I'm going to palpate it. It's warm to touch. Now on the other side. There seems to be no masses, no swelling, no edema, no tenderness. Is there any pain at all? No. When I do that? Okay. Patient states no pain and there's no involuntary movements. Now I will um, get the radial pulse. Okay. So simultaneously at the same time for 30 seconds. I'm just gonna pulse the radial. And after 30 seconds, for the pulse rate, I got 40. Multiply that by 2, it's 80 beats per minute. Rhythm is regular, quality is plus 2 strong, and is equal bilateral on both sides. Now I'm going to test the patient's hand grip. So can you just squeeze here? Okay. Okay. Patient's hand grip is equal bilateral on both sides. Okay. Now I'm going to be your lower extremities. Okay, just warm up. Thank you. Okay. As I inspect the patient's lower extremities, I can see that there's no scars, no lesions, it's symmetrical hair is evenly distributed, and the skin color is appropriate to the genetic background. That's on both sides. Okay. Now I'm going to be palpating. It's warm to touch. Okay. As I palpate, I see that there is no edema, no swelling, no masses, no tenderness, no joint inflammation. Are you in any pain when I do that? No. Patient states there is no pain and no involuntary movements. Now I'm going to be inspecting the patient's posterior thorax. So can you stand up and turn around for me, please? Thank you. And I'm just going to 
just gonna lift up the shirt, okay? As I inspect the patient's posterior thorax, I can see that there's no scars, no lesions. Here, it's symmetrical, there's no skeletal, skeletal deformities, and the skin color is appropriate to the genetic background. Okay, now I'm going to palpate it. seems to be no masses and tenderness. Are you in pain at all? No. Patient states no pain. And it is warm to touch. Okay, can you take a deep breath in for me, please? And out. In. And out. Patient's lung expansion is symmetrical on both sides. Now I'm going to be auscultating the posterior thorax. Okay. I'm just going to have you take a deep breath in for me, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead, take a deep breath in. And out. Okay. In. Out. 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 Auscultating the patient's posterior thorax, I hear no wheezing, no crackling, and there is a equilateral breathing sound on both. Okay. Now, can you lift my shirt, please? Thank you. Can you just turn around for me? Now I'm going to be assessing the anterior thorax for one minute. So I'm going to his respiration rate. Okay. So as I look for the time for a minute. After a minute passes by, I got 20 beats per minute. Breath quality of respiration is relaxed and there seems to be no sign of stress. Regular rhythm is regular. Okay. Now I'm going to be auscultating and listening for the apical heart which is located in the mitral, which is a lo mitral valve, located in the fifth interskull um, space and at the left of the mid, mid cl clavicular line. Can you please lift up your shirt? Thank you. So I'm gonna be using the diaphragm of the stethoscope and I'm gonna be listening for the mitral valve for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I'm going to be using the bell of the stethoscope and listening for any extra heart sounds. Okay. Let it down. After auscultating and listening, I see that the mitral valve is 40 multiplied by 2, which is 80 beats per minute. The rhythm is regular, quality is 2 plus, and there seems to be no extra audible heart sounds on S2 and S, S3 and S4, and it's equal bilateral. Okay, now I'm going to be assessing the patient's abdomen. So you can just head over there. Okay, so this is and I'm just going to move the camera. Okay. Okay, we'll place the camera there, and I'm going to drape the patient appropriately. Can you please lift up your shirt? Thank you. Okay. Upon inspecting the abdomen, I can see that there's no scars, no lesions. 
umbilicus is midline. It is symmetrical. And now I'm going to palpate it. So now I'm going to auscultate the quadrants. Okay. Starting from the upper right quadrant. Auscultating the abdomen, I hear a high pitched gurgling sound in all four quadrants every 10 seconds. Now I'm going to palpate the abdomen with light palpation. Palpating the abdomen, there is no masses, no no tenderness, no superficial muscles, and no guarding. Okay, I'm just gonna move this. You can get that to that. Move the shirt. Okay. Okay. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. And that concludes my head-to-toe assessment. Thank you. Bye.